Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, let's go back to Simple Sam. I am not feeling incredibly well this morning, but I figure Crawl will improve my situation. If I recall, Simple Sam has some neat stuff. Yeah, we have reasonable resistances, although I really want to resist poison. Our This ring that we found in an ice cave is awesome. This is actually just the best ring I've seen in a while. Probably. I don't know. There are a lot of really good rings. I, I want to play an octopode sometime and just get kitted out with amazing artifact rings. They're really tough, though. They're very, very difficult to play. Uh, let's finish up stash work. We should get rid of that. Um, get rid of the scroll of recharging. And give, by get rid of, I mean save. We don't need silence in the lair. Um, oh, well, we're not doing the lair, are we? Well, I, I suppose we probably could. We did orcs 1 through 3, I think. We might poke our head into the swamp, see what's up in there. Oh, I'm not enthused by the idea of zapping wands. We have better things to do with our time. Yeah, everything else looks good. Okay. Let's go to the swamp. Hopefully, the very first thing we find there is some poison resistance. Nope. Just some gold. We have a, a hefty amount of gold. We can buy basically any non-artifact item. And some artifacts. Ooh, we have a bunch of spells now, don't we? This bolt of magma is going to be cool. I think we can zap that guy. Hear a roar. wonder what roared at us. Could have been the drake, I suppose. There are some interesting things you can do with line of sight and clouds. Since line of sight is reciprocal and crawl, if something can't see you, um, and it, you, like if you create a cloud of some sort before something is aware that you're there, you can avoid it noticing you at all. Especially if you have a, a reasonably high stealth skill, which ours isn't really anything to speak of. But we're not wearing heavy armor or anything, so we are fairly stealthy. Um, we are rather mundane. I'm used to playing gargoyles and demon spawn that have a billion mutations right from the start. Well, demon spawn not right from the start. Eventually, they have minimum 15 mutations. Gargoyles have a decent number themselves. Although I suppose they're not mutations, they're just... Inherent gargoyle characteristics. How loud is our bolt of magma? A bit loud. Same as same as the other other hefty bolt spells that we have. An alligator, but a book. A book is nice. Also, this scroll could potentially be good. Whoa! That alerted a lot of things. Uh, acquirement, amnesia, brand weapon, enchant weapon three vulnerability. Okay, so it's probably decent. Back up away from the water, just so we don't have to worry about... Yeah. I feel fairly powerful. Our accuracy with this bolt of magma isn't the bestest, but, I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Our spell power is not awesome with it. Our fire magic is still very low, and it is a three-school spell. Three-spell-school skill spell. Bleh. Yeah. I like this spread for now. I kind of don't want to turn off spell casting and dodging. I get this sneaky feeling that dodging is going to be very important to us. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we won't need evasion, but, you know, that's just, just a guess. Oof. Yeah, 
yeah, there was a, a crazy hailstorm here last night, and it um, woke me up, and when my sleep schedule is disturbed, I tend not to feel incredibly well the next day. I I'll survive, I'm not. I'm not dying and leaving you, dear viewers. Uh, Book of Burglary. Hmm. Swiftness seems like a reasonable spell to memorize. That's something that could potentially save our bacon. What else? I guess Lee's Rapid Deconstruction we actually want. Not immediately. It's not at all useful to us in the swamps. Lee's Rapid Deconstruction blows up uh, walls statues, that sort of thing. Ruined ring mail, not useful to us. Basically, it, before you get to the lair, it's reasonable to use a just a an armor with an ego. But hopefully, by the lair, you will have found an artifact armor of some sort. And it's generally, not always, but generally worth your time to try and sort of build your character around that armor. Like, put a few points into armor if it's a heavier armor. Abandon spellcasting entirely if it's, you know, really insane. Oh, we can burn down the forest if we want. <laughs> Environmentalism. You can eat my shorts. Hmm. Not sure how that bolt of magma was interacting with those freezing clouds. I don't think it can shoot through them, maybe. That's good to know. Fire and ice have interesting interactions with one another. I think that ice typically comes out on top. We don't have flight yet. That's odd. Guess we haven't found a... Uh... We aren't focusing on air magic, I suppose, so Sif Muna hasn't been granting us gifts of air stuff. Six-headed Hydra. <laughs> oh, sorry, dear viewers, I had to sneeze there, and I didn't want to subject you to the percussive sound directly into your ears. Ow. We aren't too terribly worried about Hydras in general. Armor class 12 is enough to stave off uh, some of their damage. Evasion 20 is nice. Uh, the, as a rule of thumb, monsters that have a large number of attacks that attack very rapidly or have multiple heads, as per the Hydra, uh, those are more dangerous for evasion-based characters than armor class-based characters. If you get hit eight times, uh, but each hit is only for six damage, you know, that's, that's still 48 damage, but you got hit eight times. Whereas we could get hit twice and die. In theory. Thinking of a, a max 20 damage attack is the number I'm using in my brain there. We're reducing about 6 damage per attack on average. And we have no guaranteed damage reduction, which really scares me. Robes don't provide any source of that. Steam is not the most damaging. Oh, it's a bolt. I'm not missing with this. I'm just shooting through things. Ah, this is, this is just part of my uh, inexperience with casters. I, I barely know what any of the spells do. This is the first time I've ever used bolt of magma. 
I've never been a fire earth mage before. I've been earth ice and fire air, but never fire earth. So I'm kind of excited. We can still fire the bolt directly at a tile by using the period key on your standard American keyboard. I apologize, I don't know any of the default bindings for uh, keyboards in other locales. Okay, exploring this obviously is not working. Let's burn down some trees. Why not? Burn tree. Living trees are less likely to spread forest fires than dead trees. The swamp is actually hard to start a forest fire. If you get some dead trees in like a, a little graveyard mini vault or something, they go up quite rapidly. Uh, let's use our force lance here. Hmm. Didn't work, unfortunately, but yeah, our force lance has a chance to push things away if it succeeds. Just using the icicle here, because it's cheaper. Uh, giant goldfish, which I believe are being removed in the next trunk version. This is 0 0.14, I believe they're being removed in 0 0.15. Uh, which I'm fine with, I think that they're not particularly interesting. Big fish serve the same function. Uh, I wish I could get more than one. There we go. Ravens are not super tough. They're sort of between bats and harpies in terms of annoyingness. Maybe between bats and bees. I think bees are easier than harpies, if I had to guess. So. Bats, bees, blink frogs, harpies, all those things are really frustrating. With this ring of sustenance that we have now, our awesome artifact ring that is doing so much for us. Oh, yay, level 15. Ooh, and at this point we can finally start putting points into intelligence. Our base strength is 8, which isn't great, obviously, but we probably won't ever take off this ring that gives us sustenance, resist fire, resist cold, and 2 strength. So we can basically count our strength to be 10, so we can just keep putting points. Uh, nine is the minimum strength I like to walk around with. Even then, I generally like to have more just for carrying capacity. You never know when you're gonna find yourself in a labyrinth or a timed vault of some sort that um, that taxes your carrying capacity. Yeah, this sustenance ring is awesome. Earth magic at level 11. I bet Lahudib's crystal spear. Yeah, it's down to 50%. We could drink a potion of brilliance and cast it if we wanted. Which, assuming that it hits, it will basically instantly kill anything. At max spell power, it's the highest single target damage spell in the game. It's something like a maximum of, I don't know, 200 some odd damage something just entirely absurd like that spriggans are rough for us ow really rough let's uh let's play smart here there we go we're not a, a melee character we can't just bash in the face and hope to succeed every time we must rely on our wits One way of doing that is playing games with line of sight and line of effect. Yikes. Ooh. Well, let's drink a potion, heal wounds, and get out of here. So those guys can hurt us quite a bit. That's good to know. Um, 
Hmm. Spring of Intelligence is nice, certainly. But I don't think it's going to be as useful in this situation as, hmm, five evasion or three armor class. That's actually kind of a tough decision. Ah, well, for one, we can get five armor class there. That makes this decision easier. There we go. All right. This is a smarter way to handle this fight. Ooh, let's see if we can do that with... Ha ha ha. If, if you kill the Spriggan's Firefly while it is over water, it, it cannot swim and it drowns. It's a little bit morbid, but hey, you know, they attacked us, not the other way around. Oh, hello, Seven-Headed Hydra. Uh, this setup is still fine against the Hydra, sure. This short sword of protection has actually been quite helpful to us. Hmm. Use our force lance here. Yeah, this is a little dangerous. Since we are out of mana. Hmm. Huh. And we don't have an offensive wand, do we? We can channel? Okay. We can magic dart. That won't do anything. That would be a poor use of our mana. We can cast swiftness and run away. That seems actually quite reasonable. Ooh, not if we have to run through water. Not at all, apparently. At least we are... Oh, no. There we go. There we go. All right. I was hoping that we would kill the Hydra with that spell, because otherwise we probably would have died. Ooh, I really didn't know what to do in that situation. Blink probably would have been better than the swiftness run tactic. It's hard to run away in the swamps, I've realized, unless you're flying... Okay. What's this wand? Wand of draining. Yeah, I didn't want to test that out mid-fight. That seemed like a poor choice. Okay, well that was kind of scary. Running out of mana is rough on a caster. I really want to try and find... Um, if we find a ruined buckler, I'll pick it up and put a few skill points into shields. The other reason why I'm hanging on to this throw icicle spell in spite of us going earth, uh, fire, fire instead of ice is because, um, because, 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 because. It has a longer range than our various earth and fire spells. That's where I was going with that. Draining is no longer as horrible of a fate as it used to be. Used to be it actually just drained your experience away. Like... Too bad, sorry, if you liked that experience, you can't have it anymore. Um, it no longer does that, it just temporarily drains your stats until you have gained a, a decent chunk of experience. It still lasts a little while, which isn't the best for us, but... Alligators are pretty scary. Ooh, alligators are really scary. Yikes. Well, let's blink. 
that didn't do anything for us. Wand of Heal Wounds, that should. Yeah, this whole high evasion, low armor class business is not my favorite. Let's go back to the Ring of Intelligence for now. Yeah, alligators are, are scary. Also, the fact that several of these monsters that we're fighting have some form of poison resistance and thus are not really affected by mythic cloud and we can't really block things off we can't block off passageways with cloud of flame this appears to be a fairly dangerous branch i don't know how much further i want to progress in here oh we can refresh our repel missiles It'd be nice to find Deflect Missiles. It's the superior version of the spell. It's level 6 Charms and Air Magic, so we would have to train up Charms. We're obviously not going to be training Air Magic. Our Earth Magic is already at level 11. It would take us very, very long time to train our Air Magic. That minus 4 is prohibitive. Does our magic dart do anything? I don't know if it can actually shoot us from this range. So we can just pepper it down. That's nice. Oh, we didn't actually destroy it? Okay. There we go. Yeah, the Staff of Power has been useful to us. That's one of the reasons why we're training up spellcasting, is to... Uh, increase our reserves of magical energy. Mana, or mana. There are... Oh dear, yeah. S traveling in water is not the best. The shang shambling mangrove, can we force push it away? Yeah. Ow. Ow. Let's, um... teleport. Let's take a step back. That didn't help. Yikes. Okay, well. Let's drink a potion of curing and hope we don't die. Ugh. Thus ends Simple Sam. Casters are hard, guys. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I just feel like it's a lot harder to survive. Well, we'll 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 keep trying. I I feel like I've got the melee character down pretty well. Uh, an amulet of resist mutation that was nice. Uh, it's too bad. There are probably ways that we could have avoided this death, but I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have been in the swamps in the first place. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll be back later with some more dungeon crawl stone soup.